struggle. So we know what you're going through, and we're going to pray for you specifically in just a moment, but I want you to hear Trell's story as well. My husband died in 2021 also, just a few weeks after his wife, Lanita. And I was in Texas. He was in Tennessee. We were sitting at the dining table. Uh, I was not in the room at the time, but we had friends over. And my husband was talking, and in the mental of, middle of his sentence, he just stopped talking. And just slumped over out of his chair. Nothing could happen to help, um, and he just went to be with the Lord. But here's the thing. Even in the midst of grief and uncertainty and shock, there was still peace because of the Lord, because of the presence of the Lord. And when Jesus comes to take his children home or when he sends angels to gather his children home, it does say in the Bible that precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. And we may have a hard time thinking that's precious, but it is to the Lord if they get to go home with him. And so that is a comfort right there. And then I remember, too, quoting the scripture in my heart that surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. And so I let him have that grief and I let him have that sorrow you gave because it away. he would carry it for me. You gave it and away, bear right? Bear it for me. Yes. You gave it you gave it to God. Yes. Amen. Well, friend, you know, I understand. You know, we've we've both lost our parents. I've lost a younger brother. I've, I've lost my mother to Alzheimer's. My uh, next younger brother is in the hospital with Alzheimer's right now. Excuse me, not in a hospital, but in a nursing home. And, uh, you know, it's in the final stages. So we understand. Mm -hmm. And I know that none of that helps the grief that you're going through. But I'm going to ask Trell to pray for you right now. And we're going to agree that the Lord takes some of that heavy burden off of you that's too much to bear. And my friend, if you would like to, you know, in the comments below, just you know, write down, hey, I'm praying for those others that are grieving or or, you know, this is my prayer need, we'll be happy to pray for you. And if you don't want to do that, you can send us a prayer request at our website. Uh, see that sign behind us, In Your Corner? In Your Corner TV. there's a contact form there, and you can send us a prayer request, and I promise you that she and I will pray fervently for you and your need. So, uh, Trell, uh, would you pray for people that are grieving, and you and I are going to agree with whoever's listening that's going through grief that the Lord is going to take this burden away. And I will tell you, grief is a season. You know, after my first wife, Diane, died, I was so miserable that I went to Florida, and I drove across a bridge, and I, you know, I heard a voice say to me, stop the car and jump to your death. And while I was thinking about that, I believe the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, your daughter... Christy and your granddaughter Cameron are still alive and they need you. And I grieved for several months after that, but that gave me the strength to carry on. So grief is a season that will leave. So don't think about doing anything that would harm you or hurt yourself because God will get you through that. And that was 2001 and this is 2024 and the Lord since that time has used me to do more for his kingdom than I ever did in the first 50 years of my life. I've had a television show. I've, uh, you know, been around the world sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. So the Lord still has plans for you. So do not quit. Do not be discouraged. You'll get through this. Trail, go ahead and pray, please. Yeah, and don't give up on life because as long as the Lord leaves you here, he's got plan and purpose for you and he will lead you and work that out. Uh, I, I do want us to go to the Lord in prayer and to remember that Jesus listens, that he's hearing our prayers, and that he will answer, and he is right here with us. So let's talk to him. It's just talking to the Lord, and he invited us to bring all of our needs to him. So, Lord, we do come to you now. Yes. Jesus, we know that yes. you feel our pain, that you suffered like as we do, and you went through so many things in life here on earth 
and that you feel all of the despair and all of the grief and all of the sorrow. And you, you offered to take our cares from us. And you said we can cast our cares on you because you care for us. So I'm asking you now, I'm asking you to just saturate the people that are listening, the people that have this sorrow and this pain in their heart. Oh, Lord, and give them purpose. And, oh, Lord, take that pain out of their heart. Even if it's just a little at a time, help them to let go. To let go and know they don't have to stay there. This is just a a place to come out of. And you will walk with them through every step of the way. So, Lord, I just ask that you help them release. Because we know if we release the pain and the heartache, that you take Release it for it. them. Yes, Lord. You take it for them. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. And then you replace it. We can trade that grief and sorrow for your joy and your peace and your love. Lord, we thank you for that. And we just receive that right now. Hallelujah. We just receive the things that we know you have for us because there is joy in the presence of the Lord. And Lord, we know you're here with us. We know that you send angels all around us, and we know that those ministering angels have a job to do to help us through our trials and stay with us when we have needs. Yes, so, Lord. Lord, help us to feel the presence of the angels that you have sent to carry on and to help through these trials. We ask it and believe it in faith, knowing that it is truth because it's your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, your beautiful and wonderful and powerful name. Amen. Amen. Now, friend, if you need more prayer every Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. right here on this uh, YouTube channel, every Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's the same time as in Chicago. We live just outside of Nashville, Tennessee. We do a gospel singing and prayer meeting. Trail and friends sing music, and we take prayer requests and pray for you live. So connect with us on Tuesday night. I also do a Bible study right here on YouTube at noon on Fridays where we take prayer requests. Again, you can comment your prayer needs below, or you can contact us at inyourcorner.tv in the contact section. Anything you want to say before we say goodbye? Well, I have um, something in my heart that somebody needs to hear. Um, That there's tears, and it's okay. Tears are a language that God does understand. And that is a song. It's a beautiful song, but I'm telling you, it's okay to cry. And it's okay not to cry. It's okay to have joy and don't feel guilty about it. It's okay to keep living because God wants you to live. And wherever that message hits home in your heart, know that Jesus wanted you to hear those words. He's with you. Amen. Appreciate you tuning in and feel free to contact us in the comments below or at inyourcorner.tv. We'll see you next time.